Vlad III, the Prince of Wallachia, was born in 1431 to Vlad II Dracul in Sigiswara, Transylvania, in the Kingdom of Hungary. We know him by his posthumously given name, Vlad the Impaler. In 1436, Vlad II, our subject's father, gained the throne of Wallachia. He was usurped by Hungarian rivals in 1442, but secured Ottoman support by paying tribute to the Sultan. Vlad III was sent as a hostage to the Ottoman court to prove his father's loyalty. During his time as a hostage, Vlad was educated in logic, religion, and the Turkish language. He was also taught warfare and horseback riding. According to legend, Vlad's first wife committed suicide during the siege of his home, the Ponari Castle. As the story goes, an archer in the sieging army shot an arrow into Vlad's living quarters with a warning of an imminent attack. Vlad's wife, upon reading this message, threw herself to her death in a tributary, saying she'd rather rot and be eaten by fish than be held captive. The tributary to this day is called the Ladies River. In 1447, Vlad II was killed by forces allied with the Hungarian regent John Hunyad. To prevent Wallachia from falling under Hungarian rule, the Ottomans invaded Wallachia and put our very own Vlad III on the throne. However, John Hunyad himself invaded Wallachia and put his ally Vladislav II on the throne. Our Vlad fled to Moldavia and later Hungary, where the next part of our story unfolds. While living in Hungary, Vlad reconciled with Hunyad, his former rival. Hunyad was impressed by Vlad's hatred of the Ottomans and their sultan, Mehmed II. During a war in Serbia, Vlad, with Hunyad's help, killed Vladislav II and reclaimed his throne. With the reclamation of the Wallachian throne, Vlad was ready to take control of his empire. During his reign, Vlad brought Wallachia out of poverty and united a nation. However, he was known as a sadistic, sanguinary ruler, famous for dining amongst the impaled bodies of his enemies. Much of his life is shrouded in rumor and speculation, but one thing is certain, this real-life Dracula has left his mark on history.